the six pillars of environmental crime. Ease, so quite often people destroy the planet because it's easier. That is something we can change. So just making it cheaper or less expensive, for example, or literally easier to do things that are green rather than that are harmful. The second pillar is impunity. And so that's, for example, not having laws or not having laws that are enforced. And so you have psychological impunity. So people think they're going to get away with crimes, either because they see other people getting away with them, or they think that they're the cleverest in the room and that, yeah, I mean, other people will get caught, but I won't. Rationalization. And that's when you, you basically sweet talk your way out of or into these environmental crimes. And then there's conformity, which is, well, everyone's doing it. Or I don't want to say anything because I might be perceived as weird or my colleagues, my friends, my, uh, the people in my, in my organized crime group might think less of me. And so I'm not going to speak up. I don't want to be whistleblower. Then there's a greed, which is the one that everybody thinks of. Greed, I almost don't need to explain it, but greed is not just about money is the other thing. Um, so I think people are like, well, everything is greed. Well, no, because not all money is greed. Like most of us have jobs, but I wouldn't say that we all have jobs because we're greedy. No, we have jobs because we live in a society where to survive, you need a job. So greed is when you take more than you need and you specifically take it away from other people. The last one is desperation. And so desperation can be either things like absolute poverty, so not having enough to eat, not having a job, um, the bare minimum, or it can be things like feeling desperate. So you feel like you've been pushed into a corner and the only thing you can do is lie.